We are back. We are back. Okay. <clears throat> this is currently about five. We're gonna be going to a little close to seven. Voice permitting. Where we left off, we were on our journey to find fish fillets. Not the sandwich from McDonald's, but what well, could be? Maybe those are dropped by monsters. Let's kill this bee. How'd you miss? For those of you that were interested, I have a roughly eight ounce pork chop and some steak cut french fries as my meal. Ooh, thing on the ground. Space Sepith, nice. Ooh, dinosaurs. Jamming. <clears throat> Almost level 10, the big double digits. How rude. Music slapped so hard. You need a new move, my guy, so they can hit more things. I probably should didn't need to do the whole. Super recovery, what? Randy get ahead of Ellie. 
Oh, he learned Salamander. Nice. I don't know what that does. Drain like wave of flames charges to incinerate enemies. 80% to burn. That's dope. Give me another enemy to fight. Let's kill this bee. Is going straight for Tio. For scientific purposes. This leads. Oh, wait. Mute. Of course. I almost literally just said materia. Chance to mute enemy. What new arts does this get void? Oh, this offers so much. So if you'll see. This mute materia offers us times three blue Zepeth. So in line, we have three. This is like, if you compare it to like, uh, Ellie's HP, it only offers one. So he actually has access to more blue Sepeth. So then he has Tira, which is like super heal. You know, it's like way beyond what our needs at the moment. Tira is only almost still a full heal at this point. But that loss is uh, like resurrect, which would be useful. And plus, he still has the chance of muting enemies whenever he hits them. I love this system of court so much. Pandas? Do they offer fish fillets?
No, Panda Pony went away. Kill this panda. <laughs> it's worth it if he gives us fish flames. Fish fillets. Dinosaur. Holy bullet. Steak. Reviving Paul? Sick. Oh. Tear Ball? Nice. Free healing items? Always useful. I wish I could blow up my map. Honestly. Oh. in the head. Green UEF. What's up? In the chat? How am I? I'm pretty good. Playing a game in the, one of the best series of all time. After having not been able to play it for a few days. How are you? Murdered that dinosaur. Luscious orange. Still looking for fish fillets. In dire need of Hajimari no Kisugi? Same. I'm... I just finished Cold Steel 4 early December? No, it was, it was closer to Christmas. Also a Trails Addict. These games are amazing. Uh, I played my first one, which was Sky, in uh, late March of 2020. I was looking for a game to play as I waited for uh, FF7 Remake to come out. And I played FC and SC. And the entire time I played FF7 Remake, which I think is like a, an amazing game, I was just like, I just want to spend more time with these other characters, even though I like love Cloud Thief and all them. And then the more time I spent thinking about it, I was like, I think Trails has overtaken Final Fantasy as my favorite game franchise. Just because there's nothing else like it that like has this like large overarching narrative. 
which is kind of also, um, sorry, I was so excited to play this game. Uh, but I'm also kind of upset because I don't actually have a way of, uh, I can't figure out how to get, uh, Azure. Uh, favorite characters? Yours are Reen, ML, Tina, Ash, Crow, Usus, and Million. Uh, I'm a little bit partial to the Sky cast. My favorite overall character is Joshua and Estelle. My favorite from Cold Steel was, was uh, probably Ash. Death Corolla. We're gonna name him Toyota. Um, it's like Estelle and Joshua from Sky for sure. I really liked Ash. I thought he had, had an interest. He was the, he was the most interesting character I found in Cold Steel to me. Um, Reed was pretty all right. Uh, Emma was interesting, which I'm sure because based on your prior comment, you would uh, agree with. Um, Laura was cool. I just wish they did more with her. Crow's Japanese voice actor is Cloud Strife. Like, he's the same voice actor as FF7 Remake? That's neat. Crow, Crow. How how to flick on Crow? Crow is awesome. Although, I have a very controversial opinion about Crow. Uh-oh. I didn't realize I'm out of EP. Kill the plant. Bell Sprout died. I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. That. That's awesome. Yeah, Crow is very like his entire character arc throughout Cold Steel was really good. The Japanese rarely ever change voices of their characters, so Crow is the definitive voice for Cloud in Japan. So yeah, so it's like if they kept What's this guy? Was it Steve Bloom? Is that the guy who, like, voiced Cloud in, like, Advent Children? And, like, Kingdom Hearts? But then they changed to this other guy in Remake? But that's the big... Because I know, like, because a lot of people, like, mock the voice performances for, like, Cloud and TV and, like, Advent Children. And, but, um... I'm gonna be... Alright. I remember when I was playing FF7 Remake, because my personal favorite video game character of all time is Zack Fair. I can today acknowledge a lot of the problems that Crisis Core has, but to this day, I don't think any character has ever been treated. You only know Sephiroth's English actor remake. Yeah, that makes sense. But I don't think any character has ever been treated better in a game than Zack was in Crisis Core. I think that's probably the reason why I like the Trails games because they are they're very ballsy with what they are, allow their characters like go through and, and do. Um, but um, when they heard the voice actor they chose, oh wait, that's a super spoiler. Uh oh, <laughs> all right, skip ahead for two minutes if you haven't played F7 Remake yet after watching this on the YouTube. Um, but the new voice actor they had for Zack in Remake, I hated it. I hated it so much. I was like. All right, I love the game. I haven't binged a game like that ever. Like, 37 hours in like two and a half days. But man, I just, I just couldn't stand that whenever I heard Zack. Crow slash Cloud say is also best friends with Zex. I'm assuming that means voice actor. All right, you have played Remake? Yeah, but I also post these on uh, my VODs on my uh, YouTube channel. Um... Which currently basically has my entire playthrough of Tales of Arise and then what I've played so far this game. Aren't alone in that sentiment? Yeah. Which is also why I was kind of thankful because I actually haven't gotten to play Integrate, but I've watched a couple playthroughs of it. And when Zach popped up in that, like, hit, gave him those extra few uh, lines or whatever, those were so much better. I gather, yeah, so you mean voice actor? I did not know that, but you've already you've taught me a couple things already. Yeah, so he sounded a lot better, but just Zach Gomez was so perfect as Zach. I just think like all those moments in Crisis Core, it's like oh, it's 
perfect and then different but they changed all of them so I kind of get it or right, I'm gonna burn a I really want to burn an S craft. Oh, I can't hit all of them. Whatever. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense based on like their sense of like community and all that. Like I've heard, like there's a bunch of like voice actors um, in a, the U.S. that apparently are super tight. Uh oh. Oh, the panda ran away. Randy is Roy Mustang and Kisuke Urahara. Wait, in the Japanese or Amer in the English? Cause I'll confess to being a. I thought the English dub for Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was. Roy Mustang's a great character. Mr. Hat and Clogs from Bleach. I never actually got into Bleach. Are you caught up on Attack on Titan? Can we talk about that? Japanese? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, actually, we better play it safe. Get some healing. You're not fond of Attack on Titan? Like older stuff? That's fine. You like trails, that's enough for me. Um. Twenty of each step at nights. What's your personal favorite Trails game you've played? When it comes to newer stuff, though, My Hero Academia? I really like it. I heard someone tell me they didn't like it because they didn't like how one note uh, Midoriya is. And I got that. Oh, Fresh just doesn't have any. <laughs> uh, but I really enjoy it. Um, the concept of the world is super interesting to me. Uh. Character of All Might is everything I want Superman to <coughs> everything I want Superman to be. I like Sky and Cold Steel. I like the first ones. <laughs> I like My Hero Academia. If you're into anime, I suggest that anyone watch it. It's good. This is... Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Like the sagas. Uh, a lot of them are just like... The whole thing's just like one ginormous huge game. So like... People go, I like it as a whole, I suppose, like that. I love Sky. Like, I feel like I just changed my outlook on video games. I freaking love that so much. I'm out of EP. I'm about to die. We're going to have to burn Tio's uh, S craft.
These are all weak to fire, right? Oh, they're even weak to earth. Main issues with MHA are stain fans, edgy morons, Bakugo and Toga. Yeah, Bakugo is like, people say like Midoriya is like one note, a single note character. Bakugo is even more so, which is interesting because like, you now you think of his story, it could be, but the fact they make him so aggressive all the time could be annoying. Like think of like Endeavor in that show, it's like, Stain fans aren't going to think he is right, but I forget that hero work in this series is more of a polite service than a pageantry. It's true. It's like the opposite of the boys on Netflix. Not Netflix, uh, Amazon. Why does Tio go so late? Shigaraki and Endeavor, the most... So you're also a man of culture. I think Endeavor is my favorite character on that. Because when you first meet him, like, oh, who's this uh, jackass who just... Oh, power. I want to be the best. Yeah, yeah. But then he just grows so much. You can see him trying to be better. He feels the most human on the show. <laughs> also, I'm a, I like... Uh, uh, I'm struggling with names. I haven't watched. It's been a while since I've. Shigaraki is Rin in Japanese, so he's awesome. Uh, that's sick. So, like the entire uh, playthrough of I did Tales of Arise, one of the voice actors there has the same voice actor as Aaron Yeager, the English voice actor. Um. So I called him Aaron the entire game. And then I ended up calling him Antifa. Techn technical level endeavors are better here than All Might. Yeah, that's another thing is like, the whole thing with like in uh, All Might's powers, like, oh, he's the most powerful. But it's like, you ever hear like those dudes in the NBA who aren't the greatest athlete, but they still gr uh, work and become superstars because they're technically better? Tim Duncan, my favorite basketball player. I suppose like LeBron James is just there. He's like the best athlete. Uh, oh, I'm poisoned? Uh oh. Kill this bug. Oh, it's about to heal on its uh oh uh oh yes. <sighs> holy bullet here us our wounds hate that the MC in a rise is Japanese Machias I hate I, I don't like Machias as a character I'm just like, every time he'd be forced in my party in like Cold Steel 4, I'd just be like, get out of here, my guy. Hate Machias, Elisa, Laura, and Tita's mom, by the way. That's fair. Um, yeah, Tita's mom is, is like, speaking of characters, just like angry for no reason. Um, but Elisa and Laura. I think they could have done so much more with the female characters in Cold Steel if they just stuck to their guns and gave Reen a canon love interest as opposed to like you the player can pick whoever you want it's like because then they're all it kind of took me out of it every time i was like no these people are they should be like strong independent people like why do they care so much what this dude is and why do all the bonding events have to be about it oh cool we're leveling up Ooh, attack two, let's go. Put it on Randy. It's like a house. What's the new arts to get? Forte and La Forte, Firebolt. So he just gets La Forte? That's all he gets? I guess that's all right, I guess. I feel the only girl who had any real connection with Reen was Emma. That's, a, that's an interesting topic, because like, Ours depends on, like, 
on who you, the player, enjoy the most. Well, at least it was a manufactured poster. I actually saw that she was originally intended to be the main character of Cold Steel. And Reen was going to be this, like, similar, a similar role to Crow. Like, an older student who, like, helped her come up and bring bring her up. And then they rewrote all that because they really liked their design for Reen or whatever and wanted him to be the MC. And so they dumbed it. And that's why I kind of think, like, the whole, like, love interest thing, at least it was, like, really dumbed down. Because you, like, see what, like, she does throughout the series. Like, she does a lot. But because of, um, they all act the same way all the way through. And that might be why you like Emma more, because she actually changes the most. Like, her, um, uh, Fee, kind of. Laura's just so unsure of herself the entire game, but she had some really badass moments. Kill this thing. At least it doesn't do anything. You might be right. You might be right. She goes through a lot and doesn't actually change, though. She isn't even much available for Rain. Only 142 damage? Yeah. I just think my standards for like the way they did relationships, because starting with Sky and see what like, they did with like Estelle and Joshua. Um, I thought I was kind of like, down with a lot of the uh, relationship building in uh, Cold Steel, the like intimate relationship building in uh, Cold Steel. I liked it a lot more for the macro moments. She expects Reen to comfort her. Me, yeah, I guess. One thing I found interesting though is whenever, um, like in the bad ending for Cold Steel 4, like when like Reen's like, haha, I'm going up to space, nerds. Um, that like the one that they gave the huge, no, like Darth Vader, no, which was Elliot, who I always assumed was like his best friend, but then he ends up saying like Crow's his best friend, but Elliot was like the first friend you make in the game. I think they should have done more of him. They, they didn't do anything with Elliot after. Like Cold Steel 1? This music's so good. We're all just here throwing spells at each other. Yusus and Crow aren't Reen's best are Reen's best friends? Uses? Is there a scene I missed? Because I get Crow. But then also he has a weird relationship with uh, the son of the Marquis of Sutherland. Sutherland. <laughs> um, Patrick. He also says that we're, we're Patrick whenever like started Cold Steel 3. All my favorite Cold Steel characters are who I felt are the most relevant. I, one thing I don't think I didn't like Cold Steel is the like whole new Class Seven thing. They're like, all right, old Class Seven's going away for, but they still show up, and then like, just like, all right, now you focus on this new class. It's like, let me. I feel like the whole group of characters should have been smaller, kind of like this one. Like you have like these four, and then there's all a bunch of more characters that come in. But you have your core group of characters, and one come in and out every so often. But you get to get, go attach them. I feel like Cold Steel's catch was so big. That there's like a lot of characters just like fall through the cracks. Like you stated yours, like I said I didn't like Machias. Gaius I thought was kind of a waste. You just would give sincere advice to Reen and has shown concern for his well-being. That's true. I just wish they would have done more with Usus as being like the Duke of uh whatever the place is. Berea Brea Hard's the city. What's the name of the 
Kreutzen? 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 Province? I swear, we're gonna find these fish fillets eventually. There's just like so many characters I wish they just did more with in Cold Steel. She doesn't have any Like, I've played Cold Steel 1, 2, and 3, like, simultaneously in late 2020. <coughs> in mid-2020. Like, after I finished FF7 Remake in April, I just went straight into uh, Cold Steel 1. Uh, no, I finished, I just played Guide the Third first. And then I went Cold Steel one, two, and three over that summer into early fall. And then jumping into Cold Steel 4 after not playing for like a year and a half really threw me off. Rin and Emma, on the other hand, had a natural connection. Given the stuff with Ancient Erebonia, the dynamics of Crow and Vita, he built up her con confidence. She aided him with her arts and magics. She is why you can use Ogre Power in 3. She is willing to risk her life to free Rin. She is willing to risk her life even if Rin made Rin less depend on her. Plus, Rin interacted more with people from the Hexen clan than any other people from any of the other girls' backgrounds. I've seen people like, real, uh, make the argument that she makes the most sense because also she's the female character that actually like does the most. With her magic. She, she lends the most aid. Like, Fee, Fee doesn't really do anything. Now that I think about it, Lisa didn't really do anything. You're, you're right about that. Um... Laura's whole thing was with her dad. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. However, the entire time I spent playing Cold Steel, I just wanted more Snow and Joshua. Hell, their play stars are even similar as it involved using crafts as arch as much as possible. Their homes served as hubs. It's just so amusing how you like really actually just want to use attack. <laughs> However, like in these early parts of these games, like you don't really have access to that many arts and crafts. <laughs> this song goes so hard. I don't need to finish it off by attacking. I felt at least the leashed off Green and Emma because they were the only ones nice enough to put up with her spoiled brat nature. Man, you really don't like Elisa. <laughs> uh. Like, Have you played the crossbow games before? 
Remember when she whined about her workaholic mom to Eustace, whose father hates and abuses him? Eustace told her off by saying, What are you whining about? You are here and your mother's dying. She tries to be a part of your life and she can. And she actually loves you. I think that's part of her character. Though, like After her dad died, she was like, Her parents were entirely disconnected, so she was like always longing for that kind of approval almost. I don't know what to do here. Let's see if these are worth stun. Yeah, have you played the Zero and Azure before? Shoot this plant! We really need to find a horrible shop. Are we at the village now? Phew, so this is Amorica Village. Ellie, Tio, how are you holding up? I'm okay, though. I'm okay. Though I'm not sure how I'd be faring without that break. I am also alive by some miracle. Though, miracles aside, this village is absolutely breathtaking. Her mom isn't even a villain which makes her interactions with her mom ungrateful and spoiled. I have watched walkthroughs of the crossbow games to sell the ring are better than mine. My main worry is that, because uh, I actually kind of have this concern with Reen too, is that Lloyd's just like going to be like the same as Reen. It's like the characters, I want to do good no matter what, and yada 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 more cookie cutter protagonist kind of thing but he's been all right so far nothing breathtaking but he's been all right um but at least his mom was <laughs> i was convinced she was evil through most of close Civil four and i don't think there's no way she should be able to get away with all the stuff that she ended up doing there's no way she should have gone away gone away with that there's no way a lot of people should have gone away with a lot of stuff and lloyd is dumber than rain which is weird because he's supposed to be a detective i'm interested to see how that plays out because actually, this isn't completely blind. I've watched a uh, story breakdown after I played uh, Sky the Third before I played Cold Steel. Just so I could like know what happened in the story so I wouldn't be lost playing Cold Steel. And uh, I kind of wish I hadn't done that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this. A rural village surrounded by fields of blooming flowers. It's absolutely mesmerizing. And there's a sweet smell hanging in the air. Is that honey? Yep, you can almost see the apiary from here. What's an apiary? According to the database, the honey from America Village is one of the area's specialties. Due to its quality, the demand for American honey is quite high, so it's exported all across the continent. Yeah, I believe it. I'd always see it being sold in grocery stores and markets. This is where it comes from? That's right. It's rather surreal experiencing something firsthand. We've only read about it in books. Ellie? It's nothing. Simply thinking aloud. A tranquil place like this fell victim to a monster attack? It's almost hard to believe. Can't blame you. At first glance, all I see is a carefree, happy village. Based on the CGS report, they first spoke to the village chief for details on the incident. Her mom wasn't even corrupt or committing crimes, though. She didn't abuse her workers. She was super practical. But she supported the people who were trying to, like, end the universe. <laughs> okay, let's do the same. Besides, he probably stays on top of what happens in the village. All that's left is to find out where he lives. Elkin. Oh, you guys from Crossbow City? That doesn't seem right, considering the bus left just a few minutes ago. Uh, you walked here? You see, but let's be, I'll be crazy. This is very nice music. Very soothing. Who are you, my lady? Nilia. The magnificent views you can find here are, in my opinion, some of the best treats America has to offer. 
Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. I wonder if anyone would notice if I snuck into the barn and took a quick nap. Defy the government? They would be stamped into the damn ground if they did. But my, all right, my thinking with like that, because there's an intro, because there's like, I also didn't like the resolution with Gil Gilead Osborne. With like a part of a group is trying to do something and not something results in like, you know, the world burning down. And then like the emperor awakens from his heart surgery or whatever. And says, okay, we're cool now. And like the entire rest of the world was trying to stop them. And there's like this very prominent figure that was involved in all that. Also, I like what's going on right now between Randy and Ellie. They had a failed Dragon Ball Z fusion dance. And now they're just blending into each other. I feel like a lot, like, if you're going to punish, like, the... What's the guy's name? Eustace's his brother. Uh, oh, why am I blanking? Uh, oh, this is going to drive me bananas now. I like had the first time when you Google uses Al Rufus. Oh, see, I feel like an idiot. The first thing, if you Google uses Albrea, the first thing that comes up is height. <laughs> like, like Rufus, like he took a bunch of the fall, but he did that for uh, her mom is a pragmatic person. She won't commit crimes, but she isn't going to appeal to the overly emotional idealism her father and daughter have because it hurts the business, which hurts the people below her. So one thing, you don't get to control the camera like in the Sky games, but these little trick it does when the camera pans in these certain ways. I really enjoy it. Item shop, general store, re re reor, someone's house. The inn, I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to go. Salem. The clean gleam of the water, the shadows of the fish outlined by the bright sunlight. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Actually, let's go check the item shop. Rior General Store. Oh. Morning. Welcome to Rior General Store. Ouch, I bit my tongue. Uh, welcome to Rior General Store. Feel free to look around. Also, Rufus is better in Japanese than English. I despise the English voice. Actor. Yeah, his, um, the English voice acting performances are very uneven. Like, you care, look at, like, the care and attention, like, they gave, like, someone like Green, whereas Rufus sounded like, eh, this, he sounded the same in everything he was saying. A talentless prick who is a complete asshole is only around because of nepotism. I can buy that. <laughs> uh, model orbital car? Seems useless. Wait, can we... Can we buy fish fillets? No, we've been bamboozled. Wait, what does straw hat do? Speed plus five? straw hat oh there's a dude in here customers eh I recommend the honey America's specialty buy as much as you like glad we went and talked to that guy turbo button throws me off uh there's no one home Oh, 
Oh, wrong one. Little hut here. <gasps> Treasure. Mmm, EP cut. That's good. Here you go. You don't need. You don't need no defense. You need EP cut. You can't stack them. Despite the claims he claims to be a feminist, he will treat women call him out for BS like trash. He even addressed them in a suggestive manner, despite the fact he blocked politicians for doing the same thing. He also recorded himself accidentally sneaking into an occupied women's restroom. This is on YouTube and not even stage, by the way. He was said that after he got the backlash. I didn't know about all that. Maybe dude sounds like a tool. Glad his character should be over with. Things keep going like this. I don't know how long the village will last. What? Can't you see I'm busy? Huh? You have business with Chief Tolta? His house is right over there. Oh, so then I guess we don't go to the inn first. Let's check out the inn. Fisher guy. All right. Now that I've stayed, stayed in my appetite with a big meal, I think it's time to drop my line and see what bites. Oh, you're a first time customer, right? Uh, they're in our slow hour. Take your time and look for the menu, okay? Celia is just so adorable. Her smile gives me life. Welcome to the Ash Tree Inn. Feeling thirsty? From what I can see, you all look dead tired. Don't go overworking yourselves now. You know what? How about something to eat? I can work something simple and no time flat. Rustic omelet rice restores 20% HP. See proof of scent cures confused. Crispy fry. But ironically, the feminist voice actors will defend them and despise the American entertainment industry for their hypocrisy and clicky nonsense. I'm sure you're not alone in that. A fish fry with a pleasant texture and crispy coating. Rich cream soup. Enjoyable cream soup with a rich milk flavor. Up here, there's just rooms. Or better. Oh, did you come from the city too? My son and I have been staying in Amarica Village for a while now. A calm place free from the hustle and bustle of the city. This is the life I've longed for. Perhaps we'll move here after all. Stupid fields, as far as the eye can see. If we have to move, I'd much rather move to Michelin. Chief Talto's house. Maybe he has fish fillets. Ooh. It was a pleasure doing this with you. Thank you for your continued support. Yes, and same to you. Though, are you sure that price is good for your business? It's 20% more than what other tr traders paid. I assure you, they're well worth the price. Given the praises sung about America's goods, I think they'll prove quite profitable. There's no need to fret over my endeavors. I'll break even somehow. Confident as ever, always a pleasure to work with you. Please bring your beautiful wife and son with you to the village next time. They're more than welcome here. Haha, <laughs> I think I'll do just that. Take care. I'll be sure to come again. See, this is why I wish I got to play these before Cold Steel. Something like this could hit a lot more. Oh, another thing about Rufus VA. He also played Wesker in Resident Evil, which is insane. He got kind of common trouble for reading adult RE fan fiction at a panel that wasn't 18 plus. I'm not a big Resident Evil guy, but I'll never be surprised by the people's capacity for being idiots. Oh, pardon me. That man just now. 
He had the air of a traitor about him. Sure did. He must have had some business with Emeriko's head honcho. You all are? Apologies for interrupting. We're looking for the chief of the village. Are you him by any chance? Indeed I am. I am Tulsa. Are you Fult Taurus? No, sir. We're here to investigate the recent monster attack in the village. Oh, I understand. The folk over at Guardian Force have stopped a few, by a few times already. Fortunately, they couldn't find any conclusive leads. I'm full confidence that now that you are all on the job. This optimism is strange. Yep, same misunderstanding as usual. I've moved past the point of being surprised now. Sorry, sir, I should be more clear. Hmm, what's this? Despite what you're probably thinking, we aren't from the Bracer Guild. We're from the Crossbell Police Department, Special Support Section. I see. The Crossbell Police wouldn't have been my first guess. I apologize for the misunderstanding. The police rarely visit this village, so I wasn't really expecting this. On the other hand, Bracers are always coming and going thanks to Arias. You don't say. How can one dude be so popular but so dedicated to his job? Brazers aside, Chief Tolta. Can we get back to the reason why we're here? If you don't mind, could you give us a rundown of the attack? Hmm, sure, darn it, man. It happened about three weeks ago on the night of a new moon. A pack of monsters stuck into our village, laying waste to any crops they could find. Fruit, wheat, even our livestock was hit. Every household in the village was affected by it to some degree. And there were no eyewitnesses, right? Yes, unlike the rowdy city full of people here tend to go to sleep earlier. After all, we get up when the rooster crows. Because of that, we were all fast asleep. By the time everyone woke up, the paw prints and damage left by the monsters were clear as day. I thought as much. Could you further expound upon why you think they are wolf-like in nature? Alright, you see, the paw prints left all around the village were for some kind of canine. Funny thing is, some CGF members were scheduled to patrol the America area later that day. Once we informed them about the attack, they conducted a search of the perimeter just to be safe. But not a single trace of the canines was found anywhere? His statement seems to line up with that of the CGF report described. Hmm, that's good to hear. Like I said, it's been three weeks since that mess, but by the goddess's protection, we haven't been hit again. To be honest, I thought this was a one-time issue. I'm sorry to hear that other locations have been attacked as well. It's true. Yo, I got a question. It's pretty awesome to see the villagers so chill after an attack like that. It's like the whole fiasco didn't phase them at all. Weren't your losses pretty heavy? On a positive note, Arios is Sephiroth. I've been calling him Seph. I'm calling him young blue haired Sephiroth since the first time he popped up in this playthrough. My goal is to find a Sephiroth in every game. I feel like him being this game Sephiroth is very obvious. No, it isn't as bad as you think. If you count the losses per household, they were relatively light. I thought it was much worse. This is merely a rough estimate, but I'd wager the total loss was around 100,000 Mira. Still, no matter how much I try to downplay it, a loss is still a loss. It was a stressful time for the village. Thankfully, we were able to strike a business deal that will help us recover. I'm happy to say most of our losses have been accounted for now. A business deal? Is it with the guest that just left? Indeed, he's a trader from Crosswell City. Over the past few years, we've maintained a healthy business relationship. After hearing about the damages, he increased his offer it was by a wide margin, bless his soul. You don't see that kind of generosity too often in people. He sounds like a kind man. A trader, eh? No wonder he was in that fancy getup. Gotta look the part and all, you know? Yes, well, considering the shape Crossbell is in, these damages are the least of our worries. Pardon? Sorry, could you explain? Sorry, that may have been a bit been inappropriate. Apologies, folk. Forget all that nonsense. Jeez, you can't just tease a man like that. That's like lowering a slab of meat in front of a dog and taking it away. Agreed, I do not appreciate being left in the dark. Haha, uh, my ins sincerest apologies. The ramblings of an old man aren't too interesting. But are you still curious? Yes, sir. Please tell us everything you know. At this point, we'll take any lead we can get. <laughs> well, if you insist. Uh oh, music's changing. Cloud is now the white haired, left handed villain with resentment, and Broth is the stern, depressed swordsman. <laughs> Have you folk ever heard of the Divine Wolves? Divine Wolves? As in Holy Wolves? I do not believe such a term exists in the database. Just as I thought. This legend must be long lost in the city. Shame, really. Sorry, but what exactly is a divine wolf? What was that? The divine wolves are an ancient species of beast that reside within Crossbow. Stories describe them as wolves with fur as white as snow. 
You don't mean? Could these divine wolves be the culprits behind the village's damages? Of course, there's no evidence saying that they're the culprits. But personally, I would not be surprised if they were. These, like, weird drum things going on are throwing me off. I think there's something like, happening outside. You see, the old legends mention that these divine wolves are not regular wolves, but holy beasts sent by Adios herself. Like Ragnar the dragon. Long ago, this land of Crossbell was a bloody place rife with conflict. While watching over the foolishness of man, they would occasionally help the weak if they so desired. At least that's how the legend goes. I can't believe I'd never heard of this before. Something about this sounds familiar. I think I read a fairy tale about it, a, w a white wolf when I was a little kid. I'm pretty sure I borrowed the book from the library. Yes, I'm sure the legend of the divine wolves serves as the basis for that particular fairy tale. As I'm sure you are all aware, Crossbow has undergone that drastic changes in the past few decades. Once it became the center of trade in Zemiria, being influenced by both the Empire and the Republic, Crossbow began to leave its history in the past. And with that, the Divine Wolves slowly vanished. Huh? Guess they were just fed up with man being dumb as usual. See, Randy gets it. People are stupid. Well said, those are my thoughts exactly. I believe that's why the Divine Wolves disappeared over the course of time. And if they have finally decided to return, I can only think this is an omen of things to come. Why would you think that? It may be out of my place to say, but I feel like Crossbow City has been expanding too rapidly and too aggressively. Last time I were in a bus stand visit, all those changes left my jaw on the floor. It's as if the people are so caught up in living in the moment they've forgotten to remember the past. That's how I see it anyway. I don't know what to say. Oh dear, I wasn't intending to lambast you folk with a sermon. I just think it's possible that this attack might have been a warning from the returning divine wolves. I suppose if you interpret it that way, everything would make sense. But it looks to me like you all took the story a bit too seriously. Please ignore me. Those were nothing more than the ramblings of an old man who doesn't know when to stop talking. I wouldn't dismiss yourself like that. That was all valuable information, sir. I think I might even be able to tackle this case from a new angle. Hmm, I guess it was worth it then. Well, back to the subject at hand. You came here to conduct an investigation, right? Is there anything I can do to assist you? Yes, actually. Can we have your permission to ask the villagers about the incident? If it's just you four, it shouldn't be a problem. Noon, isn't it? Perfect. Most people should be getting back from farm work right about this time. Should I become a voice actor? Probably not. <laughs> Divine wolves, eh? I wasn't expecting such an interesting story when we walked in here. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way we could confirm or deny their existence. Still, we can at least count them among our list of potential suspects. They might say something like that. That's right, the paw prints found at the scene of the crime confirmed the presence of some kind of wolf-like beasts. But they somehow managed to vanish without a trace. It is certainly bizarre. If they left paw prints, you would normally be able to follow them back to their origin. Right, chalk that up as another mystery. We're dealing with something that was able to elude the CGF's investigators. Well, if they escaped on a path we could never follow, there's kind of nothing we can do about it. No use in frying your brain over it, right? I suppose so. Alright, let's start with gathering whatever until we can around here. And considering it's already noon, we might as well grab lunch while we're here, too. I can't wait. That hike really stirred up my appetite. Same here. We can always grab a bite at the end while we grab some info, too. Gonna lurk for a tad. I'll speak when I'm less busy. No worries, my guy. Do what you gotta do. Uh, however, all follows are very much appreciated. As I'm gonna be trying to play this as a, on the daily, whenever I can. Uh, so we're supposed to go to the end. Am 
Munch, munch. Your omelet rice is the real deal, Gofan. If I could have had a plate of this on my deathbed, I could die happy. Huh, good to hear the cooking is worth the effort. Excuse us, sorry to interrupt. Can I help you? Yes. Actually, you see, we're from the Crossbell Police Department. We were curious to know if you had any details regarding the wolf attack. Can you remember anything at all? That incident three weeks ago, you mean? From what I remember, everyone had pretty, worked pretty early the next day, so we were all asleep by that time. If you think about it, it's almost as if they knew exactly when to attack. Anyway, the village was just unlucky. That's the only way I can make it sense of this craziness. That's about all I'd be able to tell you to. Most of the guests I talked to didn't see anything either. That's unfortunate. And here I was hoping for some solid evidence right off the bat. Well, that's how most investigations go. Answers only show up when your patients steadily gather information. That may be, but do you think we can take a break? My stomach is going to implode. Are you folks having eaten yet? This is a perfect opportunity to get our you four hooked on the end specialty omelet rice. The bill's on me. No, that's not necessary, sir. That's fine. Just think of it as my way of making some new friends. Or just think of it as a marketing tactic. Next time you visit Amerika Village, come stop by the Ash Tree Inn for lunch. Ah, I can't refuse that generosity, can we? Lawyer, you might as well take him up on his kind offer if that's the case. I second that notion. Well, okay, I guess. We'd love some omelet rice. It'd be my pleasure. Why don't you folk find yourselves an empty table while I whip, you up, whip up your meal? Show me a picture of omelet rice. I want to see what that looks like. In only a few minutes, four seeming plates of omelet rice were brought to the group's table. Lloyd and others, after savoring the deliciously simple meal, felt completely recovered from their hike to American Village. Oh, come on. Show me what it looks like. I like omelets and rice. Mr. Hayward told us that he's going to be heading home soon. Don't you just love him? He's so kind, genuine, and handsome. Can you believe he's married? He even has a kid. Oh, I'm so jealous of his wife. All right, that's kind of weird. So is the homie up in here? Oh, you again. The one from earlier. You're a trader from Crossbell City, aren't you? Uh, I guess you heard about that from the village chief. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Harold Hayworth. I run a small-scale business operation out of Crossbell City. Are you four here to purchase something as well? No, no, that's not it. Lloyd and the others introduced themselves and explained the reason they came to Amerika Village. Oh, you're from the CPD? My apologies. Special support section? That name sounds familiar. Where in the world did I hear that? Oh, of course, the Crossbell Times. Huh, I take it you read that article on us? About that, please try not to let that influence your opinion. Uh, there's no need to get all worked up about it. All I see is a group of individuals who are working hard in a newly formed division of the CPD. Sure, that article may not have been the most flattering. But to be honest, I thought it genuinely I tried to paint your efforts as earnest. Do you really think so? I suppose it could be interpreted like that, from a more optimistic perspective. Oh, uh, well, we sort of know the author. That said, I think you might be giving her too much credit. Anyway, you mentioned wolf-like monsters. I've heard talk of a similar incident that took place over at St. Ursula Medical College. I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't anxious. Do you have some sort of partnership with St. Ursula as well, Mr. Hayworth? Yes, I do. You see, I wholesale medical supplies that there so often. Rumor has it someone there was injured during the attack. Also, wasn't there some damage over in Mainz, too? Unfortunately so. The Guardian Force is conducting patrols there as we speak. That's reassuring. Hmm. Perhaps I should pay Mainz a visit as well. Speaking of which, I heard you were more than generous with your offers on the goods you came to purchase today. Huh, my, the village chief must really enjoy talking today. I wasn't doing his charity or anything like that. America's specialty items, especially their honey, received glowing reviews these past few months. I simply want to use the opportunity to leave a good impression on the people here. Nothing but a harmless marketing strategy. Not too shabby. I imagine a client's trust is vital in any sort of business. If that's the case, you must be running a smooth operation. No, no, I still have a lot to learn. I'm still a greenhorn in the realm of business. Allow me, also, allow me to apologize. I sincerely wish I had more pertinent information to give you. No, please don't let that bother you. After all, we should be the ones apologizing, taking up all your precious time like this. Not at all. Best of luck to you all with your investigation. Nice. Huh, 
I don't know about the night those wolves attacked. Um, well, I know it's been about three weeks since then. Sorry, I don't remember much more than that. Ha 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 ha. Child. So I heard she told to mention that divine wolves are the culprit of something. Psh, we don't even need to worry. If they mess with us again, the great Camille will teach them a lesson. You get him, Camille. Um, did those wolves do something bad to the village? I don't really know what happened. Interesting. During the day, you'll find my husband tending the fields near the village. He's on his lunch break right now. With all the talk of monsters and recent attack, I wish he went straight too far from the village. I've been worried sick ever since that happened. I really let my kids out. Must hide now. Well, Peacock, you gotta let me fly. I don't know why that line kind of popped in my head when she said that. On the attack three weeks ago, you mean the one everything's been making a big deal about? I was fast asleep when it happened, so I don't remember much. Plus, I heard we've already made up the losses we take. Why can't we just forget about it and move on? That's not how it works, my guy. The storm may not have been hit by those wolves, but unfortunately, the damages to the epiary still lost me some mirror. The whole thing sounds so absurd when you actually think about it. I mean, if some monsters were behind it, shouldn't there have been more damage? Yeah, I guess we were lucky. We'll need to give an extra pair th today to thank our EDOs for protecting us like she did. Where's this apiary people are talking about? Ooh, that kind of threw me off a little bit. Oh, that's so dope. Do it again. Oh. It just makes the game feel so much more cinematic. Earlier I heard the chief mention something about divine wolves. He may be my father, but I can't. I'm getting annoyed. He won't let go of silly things like so called divine wolves. I just want him to start focusing on bringing the village and worrying about things from the past. Climb the ladder. So is the goal to just talk to everyone in the town? Were you here before? Recently, our fields were ravaged by some monsters. To top it off, even our livestock didn't come out of this game. We found some paw prints of some kind of canine, but whatever it is, it's not from around these parts. Maybe they really were those divine wolves, like the chief mentioned. We're talking to everyone, but we're not getting any new information. Oh yeah, we already talked to Angie. Ange, did we talked to you. Yeah, we did something. Such a pretty day. Oh, this guy was in the inn earlier. Are you guys here to do a little fishing too? Not exactly. We're officers from the Crossbell Police Department. We're here to investigate the monster attack that took place roughly three weeks ago. You don't strike me as an American, but if you know anything about it, uh, anything at all, I'd appreciate it if you told us. Oh, you came about that? If memory serves me right, I was trying to catch a python head around then, so I wasn't actually in the village. You can bet your horses I heard the stories afterwards, though. I see. Thank you for your help. We'll have to find leads elsewhere. Sorry I couldn't tell you more. But man, you all have to travel all the way out here for police stuff? Not gonna lie, that sounds rough. Oh, that reminds me, you guys happen to fish? A day as beautiful as this what comes once in a blue moon. It would be a shame if you weren't able to kick back and enjoy the zone for a bit. Novice Rod, 10 Earthworm, 10 Dumplings? Oh, I can't forget about this either. Fishing Dumpling. This notebook is an angler's best friend. You can use it to record every detail about every catch from color to size. Are you sure this is okay? It's like you're giving us an entire starting kit. Eh, no worries. I'm part of the Fisherman's Guild. Our whole mission is to promote the culture and greatness of fishing. It's common practice for us to have a few beginner sets on hand so in case we run into someone interesting, interested in fishing. We stopped by their building before. I think I have a better idea of what they do now after meeting this guy. Hey, this is a strict look. Now we've got a nice hobby we can do between jobs or something. Right? Well, one of us, not me, fishes. The rest can take the chance to rest. The rest is a necessity, you know. From what you're saying, I'm guessing you two are still tired from the walk here. Now that I think about the last time I fished was when Guy first taught me. Once guys joined the police, we never had much time to go, but maybe I should try to get back into it. Uh, I don't do fishing. <laughs> if you're itching to try it out, there's a pretty nice fishing spot in America. See that little jetty over there? Cast your line around there and you'll get bites in no time. I appreciate the advice. Thanks for everything. Alright, we don't care. We don't do fishing minigames on the Micah stream.
Farm work requires love and dedication. We make sure to treat every single crop like it was a child of ours. When our fields were hit by the attack, I'm sure you can imagine how much that hurt the village, right? Alright, we talked to everybody. The morning after the incident, I found my truck covered head to toe in these ugly scratches. God, it pisses me off every time I remember. This year, truck's cursed to the village's business. Whoever did this has helped to pay. Um, anyway, these scratch marks definitely came from some kind of canine. It's a bus stop. While we're here, let's dig up whatever leads we can about the monsters that head back. Wait, do I have to... Do I have to fish to get... Sorry, I'm a working car, but you're about to get schooled. I'm a liar. Creature that lives underground squiggles and squirms grotesquely, but fish love them. Fishing bait made by grinding vegetables into paste for various types of carp. Oh, I got away. Nineteen Rige. Spat out ten wind seppeth. Maybe this isn't how we get our fish fillets. Oh, I nailed that one. Shut up. One more of this, we'll do a couple with earthworms and see if we get something different. Ooh, tiger rockfish. 40 fire sepeth. God darn. Oh, come on. All right, one more. Because I feel like it's pretty obvious we're not going to get our fish fillets here. Fire Sepeth, god darn. Just three, we can't buy it here. We didn't actually check to see if we could buy it in Cross Spell City. Five colored miso? Talk to you. Been in here. Talk to this lady. There's be other people in the this room at the inn. Have you ever fished on those wolves? Well, the fields that I'm in charge of were damaged a little bit, but so that wasn't great. Bear in mind, no one actually saw the beast. They might be smarter than we think. Mister Ritalis is going to hang home soon. Weirdo. The recent attack gave me quite the fright considering how peaceful it was that night. I could barely believe my eyes. 
I know we're living out in the countryside, but still a bit unnerving to see monsters just wandering in civilized areas. Darn, we'll sneak into the village. Something happened that outrageous would never happen across my city. Ugh, this whole situation sucks. Why the heck would my mom want us to move to a place like this? The day before the attack, everyone in the village went to sleep early because we had to wake up at dawn for work. It was like those monsters were waiting for the perfect time to strike. Say what you want, but we were just unlikely. That's the only explanation that makes sense. I guess that was it. <laughs> Should we put a hold on our investigation for now? I guess so. Kind of sucks we didn't hear anything useful, though. Send aside the eyewitness test and let's... I was almost positive someone would have heard something howling, you know? It is strange. Hmm. And I think we've covered just about everything we can here. We should pay St. Ursula Medical College a visit next, so we we'll start by heading back to the city. No complaints from me, but I can't say I have any desire to make the trek on foot again. Me either, it's not worth the trouble or pain. Ah, uh, you heard the ladies, Lloyd. I did, and I agree. Let's go check the next bus arrives at the bus stop. Sure we haven't saved it this session yet. So the next bus comes in 30 minutes? Jeez, that's the absolute worst wait. It's not too long, but still not short. I always wanted to grab a drink at the end, but that doesn't give me enough time. Who cares whether there's enough time or not? Drinking on duty is inappropriate. Huh? 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 Tia? Something wrong? No, I simply thought I heard something in the distance. Hmm? I'll try maximizing the sensitivity in order to amplify the sound. Please stay quiet. Sh sure? Access. I am sorry, everyone. It must have been my imagination. Don't worry about it. You don't have to apologize. The sound you heard, could you describe what it was like? Possibly. I could have sworn I heard howling. Seriously? Some wolf like monsters? Please, don't give you, get your hopes up. I like them. It's heard it. It could have been also a simple sensor malfunction. What should we do? Search the surrounding area for signs of wolves? Let me think. Tia, so, yeah, what's the range of your sensors? When operating normally, it should be around 50 cell. However, in the presence of wind, sound waves can travel even further. The exact location is near impossible to pinpoint. Look at the way these clouds are moving. By golly. Look at this. Oh, here's one. Boom. Thing's booking it. Boom, look at the size of that cloud. This is like airplanes moving overhead. Ooh, damn, that's far in. Eh? We still won't be able to determine where the sound came from. That's okay. In the meantime, we'll just have to keep our ears open. Um, do you not think I am simply mistaken? No? You heard it, right? Yes, I did say that. So it's not something the average person would be able to catch. Would it not be normal to think I am lying or that my mind is playing tricks on me? Eh, maybe not. But we all know that you're one in a million, T.O. Tot. <gasps> you said it! Huh? It's true. Plus, why wouldn't we believe you? We might have been met recently, but you've already saved us more times than I can count. I can't think of any reason to ever doubt you. I apologize, everyone. That question was silly of me to ask. Please forget about it, if possible. Uh, sure. I'm not sure if it's that big a deal. Oh, you're still here? Oh, Mr. Hayworth. Were you about to head back to the Crossbow City? Yes, that's right. Are you doing the same, Mr. Hayworth? Indeed I am. Now that I've picked up souvenirs from my family, I'm about to return home. Forgive me for assuming, but were you planning on taking the bus back? When does it arrive? Unfortunately, it'll be another half hour according to the schedule. Hey, if you want to pop a squat and wait with us, we'd be happy to have you. Oh, I appreciate the offer, but... Hmm, five in total? There should be room, I think. Everyone, instead of waiting for the bus, how about you all hop in my car instead? I'll get you to Crossbow City in no time flat. What a chap! What a nice dude! What a nice random NPC. The door. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. It's a lot more spacious inside than it looks. Thank you for the ride back, Mr. Hayworth. 
Oh, my pleasure. I was heading back to the city anyway. You must be awesome to own your own or Orville car. How much did this baby set you back? I believe a vehicle this model and manufacturer costs approximately 800,000 Mira. 800,000 Mira? I can't even imagine having that much. Well, it's an invaluable tool for a trader like myself. I could take the bus, but transit time would end up bottlenecking business. So I decided to bite the bullet and buy a car. I'm sure you had other reasons to buy it aside from business. For example, I bet unless you get home to your wife and son earlier, right? Ah, uh, you caught me. Yeah, there's the real reason. God gets them and everything, huh? This is what people call the ideal husband and father? No, no, that's giving me far too much credit. I often have to go on business trips, forced to leave my wife and son at home. How old is your son? He turns five years old this year. He's not quite at that Sunday school age yet, but he's filled with curiosity. In fact, his constant questions and desire to learn about his surroundings can be a bit overwhelming for his mother. Wow. You all sound like a happy family. Huh, yes we are. Besides, I... We have to be happy. Pardon? Oh, pay no mind to that. Simply thinking aloud. Oh my god. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, we should be close to the end of the road now. I'll be taking a right turn up here, just as the heads up. a white wolf and he said dot 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 why do we need to go hunting thanks for driving us all the way back to the city oh it was nothing it was on the way so why not travel in good company well, best of luck with your investigation. You may you have my full support. Thank you very much, sir. If you're rooting for us, please consider the SSS for any hired help you may need. What well, she said, remember us before you turn to the Bracer Guild, eh? Stay professional, guys. How subtle. What? Someone's got to do the PR for us? Advertising is crucial. I won't argue that. If something comes up, I know where to find you. Oh, I have something that might come in handy. Then again, as police officers, you might find it unnecessary. City map. Thank you. Would have come in handy several hours ago. Map of the city. It's something I put together last put together last month to guide tourists around the city, so I figured it might be useful as a city map too. This would be really nice to have when we were patrolling the city. Thanks a lot, Mr. Hayworth. We'll put it to good use. I'm glad to hear. Well then, so we'll meet again. Good luck, all of you. What a great man. I agree. I never thought we'd find someone as altruistic as Lloyd, but here we are. I'm standing right here. Remember, he's a traitor. I bet it takes more than being a nice to run this. To be a nice, be a nice to run this successful business. Well, Mr. Hayworth and his business seem to be prospering, all while maintaining cooperation with the locals. He really stands out. Mrs. Crossbell and traders tend to trade abroad. We need more traders like that, I think. Damn, he really is something else, isn't he? While well, he runs an honest business, groups like Ravash are as dirty as they come. Just how Crossbell is nowadays. Of course, there's always the flip side. But people like Mr. Hayworth show Crossbell isn't all bad. He gives me hope. Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, it's already past noon. How about we head to the next place? We might as well see this little medical college, wasn't it? Then we'll be heading to the south exit? Right, but we can take the bus there. I hear it stops every every 30 minutes. Hey, that's handy, Danny. Let's take a look at the bus stop, then. It sounds good. So you're I guess if I get to go see Cecile. While inside the city, press triple lines. Three of them out of the city, press triple lines again for a map of the state. If you're inside the city, you can use the map as a shortcut to travel around quickly. Oh, yes! Finally. <laughs> You can fast travel to areas listed on the left side of the screen. Be aware that in some situations, fast travel will be unavailable.
Genten. might be good. Sixty-nine currently. She's seventy-four. Kind of like loading up Tio with all this other stuff. And we'll get rid of. Oh wait, we have no. Go for another slot on Randy. Specifically, her. Do you want to give her either of these? Why can't? Why can't she add poison? this slot. They're good for poison because then it gives her access to more earth elemental spells as well. But I don't get it. Why can't we... Slot on Lloyd now, too. Why can't we do this? Because he already has mute, right? You can't stack them. Yeah, that's right. You can't stack multiple like status effect quartz. That's right. We need more different kinds of red ones.
go to IBC. Then we'll exchange them separate here. Hoppers for everybody. Quarry, seal, blind, freeze, petrify, sleep, faint. Yo, bro, fish fillet is real. Daily specials made with meat and vegetables source from our food. Bread product that produced the product is cheaper these days, but they pay for it in quality. Maintain surprises are picked up by your ingredients. Once you gather four pieces of fish fillet and three monster eggs, for up to the challenge. It's only pretty low ingredients. You can save my hands if you don't mind doing this for me. Let me get some of that meat from fishy monsters. Birds and snakes are our best bet for the eggs. So well, I still want to make sure that we can't just buy this stuff like he oh whoops here but the medical college is by a lake so we might see like the monsters we need there. To the south we go. Crossbell Airport, nice. There's still what, 10 minutes until the next bus leaves? That's fortunately not too long wait. It's been a while since I last visited San Rafa. Same here. We wanted to visit for a while, but you know how busy our schedule is. You did? Why? You feeling sick, bud? I've had a cute nurse who gave you back in the shape no, no time. I'm not you, Randy. I have a friend who works there. They've always been there for me, so I'm kicking myself for not having gone sooner. We were both kind of busy, so we kept putting it off. Honestly, I can sympathize with that. You know someone working there? He's probably a doctor then, yeah? Not quite. She's actually a nurse. She's more on the pediatric side of things, so she's always insanely busy. Excuse me? Did you just say a nurse? Like one of those gals that pampers you while talking about your body temp in their totally smoking hot uniforms? That kind of nurse? Yeah. Why would he say yeah to that? And besides, their clothes are mandatory. It's not like they wear them a choice. So you're going to give me her age or what? Well, she's five years older than me, so that make, I guess that makes her 23. We were next door neighbors for a long time, so she's basically like a sister to me. Is she a looker? I... Suppose I'd say so, yeah. So to recap, she's two years older than me. She's hot, and she's pretty much always wearing a nurse's uniform. Jackpot, baby! I've been waiting all my life for this day. Man, what I do to deserve this happiness? You're the best thing that's ever happened to me, buddy, old pal. Oh, and thanks for the assist, wingman. I don't remember ever agreeing to help you. You men are all the same. Disgusting. You're back. Nice. We've done almost nothing since you left. Uh, hey, give me a little more credit than that. We're nothing alike. Is something the matter, Tio? Why are you being so quiet? Oh, I simply do not particularly care for hospitals, is all. 
between the smell and the antiseptic solution and the sight of large needles, I am not a fan. So that's what it is. Are you going to be okay? If you're not feeling too well, Tio, I'll be fine. It is merely a dislike. It is as though I have a phobia of hospitals. For your sake, I hope we're not about to get permission to sit out. No, of course not. That was actually a little intimidating. I should wash my mouth around her. Besides, I would also like to meet your, this friend of yours, Lloyd. She must have been the person to you were happily chatting away with on the phone, right? How, how'd you know about that? You weren't exaggerating about her being like family, were you, Lloyd? I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of person she is. For real, we better handle this case like our lives depending on it. You guys, the investigation takes precedence, okay? Don't be sexist, Ellie. Yeah, well, some of us guys are good. They're, we're nice. We're we're very wholesome. Look at all these people waiting for the bus. It's not coming, is it? It has been 30 minutes already. You got some explaining to do, Lloyd. Didn't you say it was coming in 10? I'm in the same boat as you guys. This is really weird. The bus shouldn't be this late. I was afraid this was happening. Who's this guy? I know we've talked to him before, but I don't know him. Official looking man. What are we going to do? Why is it 20 minutes late? I tried contacting them, but they wouldn't even pick up the stupid phone. Uh, excuse me, is something wrong with the bus? It's rare to see it fall behind schedule by this long. Yeah, they apparently were in some trouble on the road. The driver was able to contact us, but we lost communication. The line suddenly fell silent while he was in the middle of explaining the situation. The, the line died? I sense trouble. By the way, who are you working for, kid? Oh, me, I'm with the Crosswell City Transportation Division. We oversee the entirety of the bus service across the state. I doubt this is something to contact the CGF for, so I guess the Brazier Guild is our only hope again. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, I think so. <sighs> what other choice do we have? Guess we're at the right place at the right time. Pardon me. Would you mind letting us take care of this? Huh? And you all are? Crossbell Police Department. Special support section. We we're actually on our way to the hospital for police business. Really? You guys are police officers? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I've read about you guys in the paper. I guess the CPD took a page out of the Bracers playbook and decided to start helping the common folk. We're not quite the same thing as them, though. But we can absolutely go in and assess the situation for you. Make a strong argument. I guess I'll leave it to you, then. Should I call some Bracers in for backup? No, I don't think that's necessary. Let's go, everyone. Right. Ready. Understood. Two of all, Major McMichael and young J Joseph Joestar. Lecter and his Titus from FF10. You have all sorts of trivia. Uh, this way, right? Yeah. I actually only have about 10 more minutes. I, I can play them at the log off. <laughs> Uh, weird lightning raccoon devil things? Raccoon. <laughs> so these things are like members of the Ginyu Force? Get it, rac raccoon? Chaos brand. What? What? It costs half my mana. I just want to see it. The Seiyu side of the Falcon is 10 times better than the dub. I can believe it. Ooh, we have Quake now. Oh, I can't reach. Uh, hit him with the sparkle. ATT guarded me. Oh no. Chaos brand. Sick. Well, that thing's gonna get all its health back. Oh, that shouldn't help. 
Static electricity. I didn't kill it. Relax it. Ocean drone. So I use wind? That's annoying. Use ground against electric type Pokemon. No, wind's not the answer. Oh, what is this? I want to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't do the team rush. She can't actually do anything. It wouldn't be Earth, would it? These things are creepy. Please don't die, Randy. Please don't die, Randy. Please don't die, Randy. <laughs> run away! Oh no, I didn't run far enough. Oh, well, thank goodness they didn't go for him. Holy bullet! Shoot him in the head. Killed him with burn. 
Alright, we're here. Yeah. Ten times ago. We got ambushed by snails. Got him. Rico shell. <laughs> That's funny. Holy bullet. Salamander Critical hits Death cargo. That's so funny. Finish him. Boom, level 12 is all around. Chitinous shell, red pepper. Earth. Just don't get any fish. Filet. Oh, now this is taking me back to Cold Steel. This is taking me back to Cold Steel. Oh, no. All right. We're going to do this fight, and then we're going <laughs> to have to be calling in a stream. Why are these little fish nuggets hit so hard? Save it. Right. Page three. First file. Double tap it. Make it save. Yeah, we're paranoid here on the stream, so we're gonna triple save it. Alright. It's about almost seven o'clock central time now. Uh we're gonna be calling it for the stream. Reen UAF. UEF, sorry. Thanks for hanging out for the stream. It always makes it he's a lot more fun than you get people coming in, talking about the games, just having a good time, chatting about something as awesome as the Trails series of video games. So thank you very much for um, coming and hanging out. I hope you drop a follow and we get to see you in the chat some more. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Um, in the comments, leave your favorite voice act. That was a topic on today's stream. So yeah, leave your favorite voice actor in the comment section below. Uh, and as always, if you, you're into Magic the Gathering, check out the MTG Untapped podcast. 
available everywhere you find your podcast every Friday morning at 7 a.m. Central Time, hosted by yours truly, The Micah, with my friend and yours, Costa. However, this week we're going to have a special new guest. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for hanging out today. It's been a lot of fun. Glad to get back in streaming after missing quite a few days with my sore throat. But yeah, it's been fun. Um, everybody have a great one. God bless you.